How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Moon Adventure. Last time, I went on a bit of an adventure trying to find some new adventure, but you know what? I was still so curious how to get to that darn beach down there, so I figured, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, there's something in the meadow. And look at this! I don't know what this is! I really don't! Um, oh, there's the Seaward Cave. Okay, so this is somewhere I've not explored. It is, wow, that's a really weird music. Um, oh, this is creepy. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from this place. I have a Max Repel open, but yeah, I think this place might have been available earlier on, but obviously it's not very, uh, not very obvious. Where to find this thing, huh? I mean, I was looking for most of the game. It's like, well, maybe I have to take a boat to get there or something. I honestly didn't know. But yeah, I guess there was this little area hidden in the meadow. Oh, whoops, I probably could have gotten something from that. Oh man, this is so weird. It's like, I don't know. Oh wow, Max Revive, that's pretty good. Although I guess I would need to have uh, a water ride Pokemon in order to get over to this place. So yeah, that makes sense. Or at least this part of it. So this might be, uh, I don't, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, I don't want the repellent again. Let's just uh, see what kind of Pokemon are in the area. I honestly have no clue. Um, or what, like what level they're at or when in the game you're supposed to go here. Cause that'd be pretty cool if you could show up here like, oh yeah, looks like it's only level 11. So you can probably go here as soon as you get to um, the Melee Melee Meadow. That's nice. Good to keep in mind. My goodness. I mean, I'm not really surprised that I missed this because it looks really easy to miss. Um, but I really was curious, like, how the heck do I get to the Seaward Cave? Uh, all right, well, here's an exit. So this probably leads me to the beach. Yeah, there we go, Kalei Bay. Ah, uh, that is wonderful. Well, I guess I'll just take a look around here and see what's up. This has been haunting me for a very long time. 63 episodes has been haunting me, and now I finally have the answer. Well, okay, I guess it hasn't technically been haunting me for all 63 episodes, but most of them. It's like, I left Melee Melee Island thinking, how am I gonna get back there, huh? Uh, there's gotta be a way to get there. Am I, am I missing something? And yeah, apparently I was. Um, apparently I was. But that's cool. I'm glad I found it. Because <laughs> like I said, it's been driving me crazy. Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm guessing there's probably nothing too exciting over here. Yeah, like I thought maybe I had to get there from the, like the bridge area. Oh, there we go. Uh, because I saw that waterfall and you know, they always hide like caves by waterfalls, right? I mean, that's like always a thing, but I couldn't find a way. And then I thought, well, okay, maybe Verdant Cavern because I know that there's that big kind of area down there. Nope, that wasn't it either. So I was just stumped and it's like, well, you know what? Route three, wait, what is over here? Oh, hey, TM5, roar. Uh, it's roar. Oh, that's great. Um, not really. No, it's, I could have done without that. I would have liked it to be something better. So what kind of Pokemon can I find over here in the bay? Since I need something I can ride on, it's probably not like super low level. Uh, 17. Yeah, I don't really know if there's going to be anything really cool over here or not. I guess I just kind of wanted to check it out just to check it out. I do want to see what's over here, though. And if there's anything else just kind of chilling around. Uh, there is this rock. Anything fancy with it? A big pearl. That's nice. Oh, I guess I can just walk right across it. That's also nice. A dive ball. Why do these two trees look so different? That's interesting. Um, wow, so is that really all there is to this place? Is that really it? Just the TM for Roar? And that's, yeah, that, that looks like it. Wow, I'm <laughs> very disappointed. Uh, let me fight one more thing here. 
Then I guess I'll have to move on with my life. Um, but you know what? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's an Alolan Rattata. Um, I'm really glad I found this because, like I said, drive me crazy. That's, that's really all I wanted to do. I didn't even really care what was there. It's just like, oh, okay, there's somewhere I haven't been. How can this be? I need to go to places that I haven't been. Um, all right, but I guess I'm a little curious if there's anything else in that cave. Uh, let me go ahead and ride back on over there. Do a little bit of backtracking, and then I think I want to go back to the Pony Plains. I feel like there were some things I didn't get there. I mean, it's pretty wide and expansive, but there's like an area to the northwest. Or no, I'm sorry, northeast. I went to the northwest, but I think there's another area to the northeast that might have something more to it. Um, so I'm going to find out. And I don't want to have a Max Repel on. I don't know what's in here. So hopefully uh, there will be something cool. Uh, let me grab this. Oh, never melt ice. That's nice. Um, I don't know why it's here, of all places, but good to see. Oh, yeah, Diglett. It looks like it's mostly the same encounters as 10 Carat Hill. Which, by the way, you know, in the last episode, that's where I thought that, you know, it connected to somewhere to over here. It's like, I don't know, I guess I just had more expectations out of 10 Carat Hill. It ended up being kind of disappointing. Um, this place is pretty cool, though. There's a lot of, like, winding paths and stuff in it. But other than that, probably one of the most unenthusiastic selection of Pokemon I've seen around here. It's like Diglett and Zubat. Ooh. That's a lot of fun. Um, no, it's really not. So, yeah, I guess I'll check out Pony Plains. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold the phone. Let me smash this and uh, grab this expert belt. Now, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I like that. That would have come in handy a lot. Or, yeah, if I had it a lot sooner. But, alas, I didn't discover this place until now. <laughs> and I really looked. I can't believe it was hiding like that in the meadow. Um, Let me run away from yet another Zubat. So, anything else over here? Maybe some hidden items or something, but I just, I can't be bothered with it. Okay, last encounter, last thing I get to see, then I'm getting the heck out of here. It's, yeah, Zubat. Well, if you like Zubats, this is the place for you, pal. This is the place for you. <laughs> there are a bunch of them here. Oh, man. Um, all right, I'm getting the heck out of here. And, uh, yeah, mystery solved, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so next up, time to go to uh, Pony Plains. Actually, you know what? Let me see what this is. It's probably just another Magikarp, because that's all you get from fishing. But I hold on to that hope that maybe one day I'll find something, like, extremely cool. What the heck? <laughs> oh, I don't know why it froze like that, but that really, uh, that freaked me out. Oh, uh, wow, you're like... The most suspenseful Magikarp ever. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, oh, what did I just fish up here? I think like the timing of what I just said made that all the better. It's like, uh, uh, guys, guys, I think I got a big one. Oh, no, just a Magikarp. All right, I'll see you when I get over to Pony Plains. All right, here I am in the Pony Plains. But yeah, it was this area over here that I hadn't really checked out. Um, to the northeast. And I was looking on my map. It looks like it leads to... Oh, big old Tauros. Uh, it looks like it leads to a place called the Pony Shore, I think it was. And then the Pony Gauntlet. Where apparently there's a whole bunch of tough trainers. And that all leads to the Battle Tree. Which I'm guessing is probably like the Battle Tower type of thing. Um, so yeah, we'll see what that's all about. Okay, X Defense... Man, this place is just really big. Although, I'm looking on the map. I don't know what that is over there. Hold on a second. What the? Oh, no! I'm being attacked by a Patillil. Nothing like a rabid Patillil after me. Ah, uh, no. Leave me alone. Um, okay, okay. I, I gotta get out of here. 
I gotta get out of here, but I wanna check out that area that I'm seeing on the map, because I don't know what that connects to. If that, like, connects to the canyon or what. So, I'm going to find out. Let's go. I gotta avoid those bushes. What the heck? Ah! It's a bird! I don't even know where that bird came from! Oh, Jesus, Firo. No, I don't want to play right now. Man, the Pokemon in this area, they just... They're pretty fierce. You don't even have to be in the grass and they're all over the place. Uh, let me get the heck out of here. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Um, it was... This way, right? I don't think this is the same place that led to the Pony Meadow. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there's just a whole bunch of rocks over here. And, uh, birds. Oh, no. Oh, no. The bird's gonna get me. No! Oh, no. Stop. Stay back. Uh, oh. Oh, cool. It's Amanda Buzz. Well, all right. I'll, I'll give it that. That's pretty cool. Wild Amanda Buzz. Um, I don't really want a Amanda Buzz right now, though. I mean, I probably should just get one and get it out of the way. Like, I should have just tossed a quick ball. Yeah, I really should just be doing that. Um, let's just break all these. Whoa! Oh, no! Hopefully this is not a mistake. Uh, all right. So I jumped down there. Yeah, so... Oh, hey, another Zygarde cell. That's nice. I wonder how many... Oh, there's a TM over there. I wonder how many Zygarde cells I even have. I think if I use the Zygarde cube, it'll tell me. Um, check. That's probably what I want. Oh, 72 out of 100. That's not bad right now. I have 62 in the Zygarde cube right now. Oh, maybe I have to, like, deposit them or something. I guess I haven't done that in a long time. Um, great. 72 is pretty good. This guy. Oh, I already fought him? I guess I already fought him. And I don't know how I are... Wait, did I? Does he even want to battle? Maybe he doesn't want to battle. Maybe he's just, like, friendly. Uh, no, I guess... I guess I just had no ambition to check out this place up here, huh? <laughs> that's kind of weird, even for me. Um, okay, so that's just a path. All right, well, what's this TM all about? Oh, baby! TM24, Thunderbolt. I like. Um, only problem is, you know, pretty much everyone that can learn Thunderbolt, or needed to learn Thunderbolt, already has it now. Oh, yeah, I got Substitute. I really should do something with that. Oh, Tapu Coco. Um, actually, you know what? I am going to get rid of Discharge for Thunderbolt. Actually, no, I'm not, because in thinking about it, Discharge is really nice for, um, you know, in case I get into, like, double battles or something, or I'm just stuck in a fight with Pokemon that keep calling for help. Okay, well... That solves that mystery. Now, let's see what's... Oh, stay away. Stay away. You, you, you. Okay, uh, let's go over here. This guy... Yeah, let's fight him. Uh, except not on any of my ride Pokemon. I want my cool clothes. Thank you very much. I was a rising star. I spent all my time in battle, and now I'm a veteran. So, I guess you're all grown up now, huh? He kind of skipped the Ace Trainer phase, I guess. Okay, veteran Leon. Oh, Skarmory. Oh, no. Um... Yeah, not something Comatose wants to fight, but it probably has Sturdy. So I might kind of want to... Uh, uh... Sucker Punch this thing. Oh, Autotomize. This is bad. Okay, yeah, I probably didn't need to do that. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, if this is how you want to play, I'll just use, like, Brick Breaker. Or, I don't have Brick Break anymore. I'll just use Wood Hammer? That'll do, like, nothing. But there's a reason. Oh, yeah, now you win, Slash. Oh, yeah. You know what? Enough of this garbage. Let's just send out Tapu Koko and be done with it. I just wanted to get around that thing sturdy. Was that that much to ask for? I mean, really? It really wasn't. All right, you're not going to have very fun with this, Skarmory. No, you're not. Okay, here we go with... Uh, let's give it some discharge. 
Ugh, metal sound. Stop it! Didn't even have sturdy. Wow, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Veekable. Oh, no, what have I done? Um... Hmm. I don't really think I have, like, a rock-type move, do I? Celestila, you, uh... Yeah, not really. Not really what I need to fight that thing with. Nebby? Uh, Bug-type. Oh, Rio? Yeah, I guess I'll just air slash and hope for the best. I know it's gonna be neutral, but, eh, you know. Maybe it'll work out anyway. Oh, that's just a wild looking bug. Okay, here we go, air slash. Hua! Okay, a two hit KO, I am fine with that. Man, this guy is really about raising his agility, I guess. Or raising his speed. Oh, that wasn't even enough. Even with your speed double, you can't outspeed Oreo. Wow. And Gyarados. Okay, I'm very fine with this. Hey, what's up, Gyarados? I got a treat for ya! It's called Revelation Dance! Oh, yeah! Now that was a good move. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, well, that guy is out of the way now. So let's see what's up ahead here at the uh, Pony Coast or Pony whatever it is. Uh, po yeah, Pony Coast. That's right. Well, this looks fun. Um, there is a nice TM over here. But how do I get to it? I guess just uh, walk around to get it. Yeah, sure. That's... No problem. Okay, what the heck is that? Ooh, Dark Pulse. Nice. Uh, who can learn this? No one. No one. Not even Nebby. Oh, well. I mean, Nebby has night days, so it's not as necessary, but still. Wait. Oh, picture spot. All right, what can I take a picture of over here? Um, oh, a Firo. All right. Do you want to stay still? Oh, man. That wasn't all that good, was it? That was okay. Hey, stay still. Oh, no, no. Oh, man. All right. We're good. Man, this thing is... It's a pain. Hey. Hey, look over here, you bird. All right. Well, whatever. That wasn't really my best, uh... Best display of skills, but I guess we'll go with, um... Wow, these are all terrible. I guess we'll go with this one. It really wasn't good. Uh, well, that's not bad. 3,400. I guess I'll take it. Still have a long way to go before I get to, uh... Version 4. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and ride Tauros. Get through here. Oh, another cell. Hello. Thank you very much. Um, so I guess I can just walk the coast over here. Oh! Ah! All right, uh, I'll deal with that later. Uh, I didn't think that that would- Whoa! Ah! <laughs> I'm not just an ordinary sightseer. We want even stronger rivals. My Pokemon and I both cry out for that. Oh, well, okay. Um... Yeah, this is gonna be a fun double battle. I don't remember what my other... Wait, 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 wait. Honeymooners... What? Sightseer Devin! Hey! That's my name. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's always fun when you find your trainer name in the game. But, like... Devin, which is my name, is spelled just like that. D-E-V-I-N. Um, not exactly the most common name in the world there. Like, I don't always see it in games. So, oh, this earthquake is going to be nice. Um, so, yeah, it's just kind of funny that, you know, I see my name there. Um, yeah, I guess I'll air slash sand slash. That's kind of funny when you say it like that, but yeah. All right. Oh, flamethrower. Ah, no problem at all. Oh, Rio has this. 
Boom. That was pretty good, uh, pretty good combination there, I have to say. Good job, you two. Uh, still have a little bit to go with this Ninetales. Oh, wow, there's another Pokemon I wasn't even paying attention. A Golem, ooh. Um, um, let's Earthquake. And I'm going to Air Slash the Golem. I know it's not going to do a lot, but it might have Sturdy, and it will probably survive the uh, Earthquake anyway. So this will just get around Sturdy, maybe make it flinch or something. I don't know. Nine Tails isn't too big of a threat right now. Okay, yeah, just as I thought, it wasn't enough to knock out Golem. But it got rid of Nine Tails, so I mean that's kind of what I wanted to accomplish here. Hopefully, oh no, Stone Edge, bye, or oh, oh, okay, yeah, give it a Comatose then. Um, okay, so I know how I can do this. Let's Earthquake again. And let's go ahead for Air Slash on Executor. <laughs> Executor looks so funny now that it's not all, like, really long with its neck. It just looks so weird. It's like, wait, why do you look so short? <laughs> but it's like, no, wait, that's the normal one. Okay, almost done with this fight. Man, this came out of the blue. Everyone's gaining experience for that. Wow. Ooh, Celesteela wants to learn Heavy Slam. Um... Ooh, that's a tough one. I think this thing actually is pretty heavy, so I'm gonna get rid of Flash Cannon for it. Alright, and let's finish the job with some Earthquake. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, those two worked out a lot better than I thought they would. Uh, yeah. Whoa, I discovered a cluster of talent in the Alola region. Yeah, I, like me. <laughs> because, you know, we both are named Devin. All right, anyway, uh, I should probably heal up. Let me use up some of these. Actually, do I have a bunch of super potions? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do. They're a little bit more cost effective. Uh, close enough. Okay, there we go. Uh, so what were you guys blocking anyway? What is this? It's a Comet Shard. Well, that's kind of nice. Wait, what is over there? Oh, that's from the Pony Gauntlet. What is this thing? The heck are you? Oh, it's an Alolan Doug Trio. Um. Wow, level 57. See, I probably would have been happy using one of them, just because it's like, I always needed a ground type, it feels like. And, uh, Toothpick just is not... Oh, there we go, another one of those Zygarde things. Uh, just is not sufficient. I mean, it's not even a ground type anymore, but it's like, I always wanted another ground type. Uh, hidden Max Revive right here. Found that just using my own nose and just pressing A, and I didn't actually use my own nose. So is there anything else over here? This is the start, right? Really? Yeah, okay. Well, that wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought. Man, actually, I have to say this is kind of disappointing. I thought that this place would be a little bigger. Uh, I guess is what I had in mind, but quite the contrary. Okay, so let's see what this place is all about. Um, I really hope... Oh, I've already healed. That's right. Um, I really hope that Mira... or Not Mira, Mina will heal me up here. Uh, I just did 100 sketches, so now I'm taking a break. I beat all the trainers around here, too, so now I'm totally bored again. I want to show someone to go all out against. You can beat all the trainers here, too. I'll give you a battle against me. Uh, didn't we already fight? Well, oh well. Uh, let's just fight all the trainers around here. Sounds like there's a lot. So hopefully they have some cool Pokemon to show off. Scientist Kyle. Alright, uh, ditto. Well, I mean, that's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Uh, oh man, why do I get rid of Brick Break all the time? Um, let's just thrash that thing. Get the upper hand on it. Boom! So good! You got nothing on me, Ditto! You're not gonna copy Comatose. Oh no, you don't. 
Um, Porygon Z. Whoa. Uh, wish I had a nice fighting type move right about now, but I do not think I do. So, I guess, um, I don't know what the heck to do against it. I guess we'll have Honky Tonk use... Oceanic Operetta. I mean, might as well. All right, Honky Tonk. Show this Porygon Z what's up. Download. Oh, no. Uh, it's Attack Rose. Yep. That's fine, though. Wh oh, wait. Twinkle Tackle. Oh, no. That's right. I got rid of the, uh, the, the thing. But it's okay. I mean, this is still pretty powerful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little silly, sure. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just stick to, uh, Oceanic Operetta. Because I do like that move. It seems to do pretty well. Um, okay, let me get in here. Uh, where is that lovely thing? Oh, right, the Flyinium Z. Ooh, you know what? This might not be a bad idea to give to Oreo. Uh, Oreo has the sharp beak, but I think this could actually come in handy every now and then. Wonderful. Okay, uh, I need the Primarium Z. There we go. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So, let me get the heck forward here. Um, oh, I thought that was somewhere I could fight, like, a fish. <laughs> I guess not, though. Um, how do I get past this place? Let's see. Trainer tips. Rumor has it there are some special Z moves that only certain Pokemon can use. Yeah, I know all about that. That's what I just got done doing. What are Pokemon? Do you know? <laughs> oh, no. What's a Pokemon? Uh, yeah. All right. Um, Veteran Sherry. You have four of them and you don't even know what they are. Weavile. Man, I need Brick Break. Ugh. It's like, I thought Earthquake would be really good, and I guess it has been pretty good, but it's just like, there are all these wonderful opportunities that I just totally missed out on now. Um, just go ahead and thrash, and let's just see what happens. Night Slash, will you survive it? Yeah, you definitely did. And, oh no, it survived with one hit point. And now it's probably gonna get the crit. Oh, it didn't! And Comatose is hanging in there! Well, good job there, Comatose. You showed that Weavile who's boss. Trevenant! Yeah, you gotta get out of here. Um... That would be a nice thing for... Nebby to fight. Actually, it'd be a nice thing for Oreo to fight. With, uh... Air Slash. I mean, I guess either would do. But I'd much rather use my dancing pom pom bird. Okay, Trevenant. Um. Ooh, do I want to try out the new move? Nah, I won't. Not when you still have like two more Pokemon after this. Oh no, I should have done it. Phantom Force. I got a plan. Okay, that's a ghost move. Comatose! <laughs> Get back out of here, buddy! Yeah, none of that for you now. I'm gonna sucker punch you. Oh! Didn't see that one coming out, did you, you big twig? And Magmortar. Whoa! Uh, hey! I don't know what I can do against that. Wow, she actually has some pretty strong Pokemon, I have to say. All right, let's go for some sparkling Aria. Ooh, Fire Blast. Not enough. Boom.
Okay, and lastly, Como O. Hey! <laughs> Again, I am in a great position. I really kind of want to use one of those things. They look really cool! Noble Roar. Attack and special attack bell. Wow. Uh, still doesn't matter. Still enough to 1 KO that thing. Although I guess it is, like, double weak to it. Uh, all right, well, there we go. But still, why did you ask, what are Pokemon? Like, what kind of a question is that? Come on. What are Pokemon? Everyone will have a different answer. We can figure it out by thinking about it. Are they the digital monsters? The champions of the digital world? Or no, that's that's not Pokemon, is it? Um, okay, let's see. It's a Pelipper. Yep, super exciting. Always love seeing Pelipper here. My good buddy Pelipper. Um, okay, I need to go, like, heal or something. My Pokemon are kinda a little on the weak side, you know, just, just, just a little bit. Um, I don't think there's a Pokemon Center over here, so I'm gonna... Oh, man, I'm gonna have to fly. Alright, I will fly somewhere to heal up, and I will see you in just a moment. Okay, I'm back over here at the Pony Gauntlet. Let's see what is over this way now. Um, kind of an interesting area with all these like bridges and stuff. It's not exactly a direct path. Hi, hi, hey. <laughs> oh man, I'm a self-seeking backpacker. I save each day as it comes. I guess today will be a battle with you. Well, yeah, of course it will. Uh, let's see what kind of fun stuff you have. Yuho! Alright, Yuho. Uh, Mimikyu! Oh, nice! Except that thing is gonna be kind of annoying to fight, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's gonna have to take one hit from something. So, what should it be? I guess Earthquake. <laughs> Might as well. Home Claws! Oh, no! This could be bad. All right, well, we gotta get rid of that disguise of yours. Yep. Oh, man. That. <laughs> yep, you're all busted now. Um, okay, so now what do I do? Um. I guess I'll go for Earthquake. Oh, it's Honing Claws again. This could get ugly. Because I'm sure it probably has, like, play rough or something. Okay, how much am I doing? Oh, man. Uh, Comatose, you're gonna have to, like, totally survive this hit here. Oh, yep, there's the play rough. This is gonna hurt. Urgh. Ow, so much pain. And my attack fell. Come on. Oh, that's, like, the last thing I needed. See, I uh, would have knocked that out if it weren't for that. Now I have to go and use Sucker Punch. Or not. Okay, let's try it again. Ugh. Oh, pain split! Come on. That really wasn't necessary. Oh my gosh, could you just play rough again, please? Yep, you just don't want to do it. Ugh. That one attack decrease, okay? Now watch, now it's going to use play rough, and it's like, oh no it isn't, okay. Guess I could have just done that from the get-go, but... Whatever! Yeah, you jerk! Okay, let's get that thing out of here, and uh, I gotta heal up. I gotta restore my power points. Thankfully, I have a whole bunch of Lepa berries. It's so nice to grow them. I like the new uh, berry thing. Okay, where are my Lepa berries? Yeah, I got like 47. <laughs> so, you know, power points really no big deal for me now. It's like unlimited ethers, pretty much. Um, super potions. I guess I could probably say the same with citrus berries. I mean, four of them will heal up any Pokemon to full. 
which is nice. At least, more or less. I mean, I'm sure with rounding it could have an issue, but you get the idea. Okay, wait, is that all there is to the pony gauntlet? Or, no, it looks like there's something over this way. But I do see that guy. That, whoa, big mean rat. Okay, I don't want to fight this big mean rat. Although I don't have one, so you know what? I guess I should just toss a quick ball at it just to see what happens. Yeah, see, there we go. That didn't really take too much time. Plus one for my Pokedex completion. And uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Okay, so let's see what it has to say about this big rat. <laughs> ah, it just looks so weird. Um, uh, all right, all right. Let's see. I don't like the new Raticate that much. Uh, okay. This gourmet Pokemon is particular about the taste and freshness of its food. Restaurants where Raticate live have a good reputation. Wow, that's weird. You wouldn't think that. That's kind of the opposite of normal rats. Or if you see a rat in a restaurant, you're like, oh man. Uh, we're gonna call you Big Mean Rat. There we go. Big Mean Rat! Uh, I guess I'll take a look at your summary just to see, but... Gluttony. Mm. Wow, those are some pretty underwhelming stats, I have to say. See ya, Big Mean Rat. Yeah, jeez. Okay, so what is over here? That's what I want to know. A Misty Seed. Where's the Brock Seed? Uh, whoa! All right, all right. You know what? I don't want to do that same combination with those two. What do I want to do, though? Actually, maybe I should. They seem to work out fairly well. Yeah, let's do that. Earthquake and... I don't know, something. All right, let's do this. Another intense double battle. This time against two, uh, what even are you again? Punk pair, uh, Marie and Troy. Lycanroc and Honchcrow. Perfect. Oh yeah, this is great. This is great. And I'm not even being sarcastic for a change. Uh, yeah, this is like, I don't think I could ask for better. So let's go ahead and Ooh, I could just wood hammer Lycanroc. Yeah, let's do that. And Revelation Dance. Or dance, Honchcrow. See if I can talk. All right, here we go. Take this bird out of the way. See ya. And this wood hammer will hurt a bit, but oh well, it's fine. It'll at least get the job done. Boom! <laughs> yeah! So good! Oh, that did a lot. <laughs> but it's okay, I mean, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, alright, good game, guys. One of these days, I'm gonna have to go see what Guzma's up to. Like, I'm guessing there's probably something- Oh, there's probably something to do over at the, uh, the house place. In Poe Town. The Shady House. But, uh, I haven't been back there yet. I figure I'll do that after, uh, after checking out what this battle tree is all about. I also gotta track down all the evolution trainers. You know what? I was thinking about it last night, right? They probably, you know, you fight them all, and then I think my reward's probably just gonna be that, like, Eevee Z crystal thing. Oh, all that backtracking just for a big pearl, huh? Kind of disappointed. There should have been something a little bit better there. Oh well. Um, alright, so there's this guy. This guy. This guy is gonna suffer the wrath of a Rio. Yeah. Let's do this, pal. Oh man, there's another guy up ahead. Okay, that's fine. You know, bring on all the guys. I'll take them all on. I'll take all the girls on too. I'll take everyone on. I don't discriminate. Okay, so Pangaro here. Let's see what Oreo can do to this Pangaro. 
Uh, Mold Breaker? Yeah, no problem. Okay, here we go with a little bit of Ear Slash. Yep, of course. Parting shot. Oh man, my attack and special attack fell and then this thing switched out. Yep, that lovely old 5% chance of missing with Air Slash. Gotta love it, right? Okay, how much is that gonna do? Man, that only did like half. Scary face, now I'm all slow. Question is, will I be fast enough to outspeed this Machamp still? Because you're pretty fast over here. Nope, nope, but it's only going for scary face again, so. All right, yeah, you're tough, I get it. I get it, you're tough. But you know what? Oreo is not scared of you. Nope, not scared at all. Uh, oh, Nebby wants to learn Phantom Force. Nah, that's fine. This is good. Um. Okay, Pangaro is coming back. I think I ought to use Honky Tonk here. Give it a little bit of Moon Blast. That'll really show it. Like, Air Slash, you know, that was almost merciful. <laughs> but this is just gonna destroy this thing. Alright, here we go. In the name of the moon, I will punish you! Yeah! Okay, so that's got to be like most of the trainers here, right? I know that there's one more I can see up ahead. Uh, oh no, there's like two more. Oh, uh, well that's, oh no, three. There's actually a really intense looking double battle here. Okay, I'm going to heal up uh, Comatose. Uh, here, have a super potion. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do this. Oh man. Okay, let's, uh, they battle 50 times a day. My goodness. That's a lot. Uh, wow, Tsunikazu and what was the other one? Nobuko. Okay. Oh, Wishiwashi and Konfei. Uh, I hope that Wishiwashi doesn't get too big. Schooling. Yep, here it goes! <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Um, alright. So, I'm gonna want a revelation dance that thing for sure. And then that other thing, I don't really know what's effective against that. So, I guess I'll just earthquake. Just do whatever I can. Hopefully, this will be enough to take out that wishy washy. Uh, no, it's not. But that's okay, because. Oh no, light screen! No, you can't do that. It's okay, I'll just use Brick Break. Oh wait, I got rid of it. My bad. <laughs> Darn it. All right, this is going to take a little bit longer here. Due to that stupid light screen. Uh, Turtonator, uh-oh. Oh man, that thing. Um. Hmm. Hmm, now what do I do? That light screen is really going to mess with me. Uh, that Terminator is really going to mess with me too. Well, let's just air slash and hope for the flinch, I guess, and earthquake, just, you know, keep it up. This will do some damage at least. Yeah, it was okay, I mean, you know. Certainly could have been better, but at least this way you can stay in. And, uh, Comatose can rock his Earthquakes. Focus Blast. Oh! This is bad. I feel like they have upped the accuracy for Focus Blast. But only if it's an NPC using it, because I've not seen it miss at the NPCs once. Not one single time, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well that thing's out of there. 
Uh, this is not all that great, this thing using that draining kiss, because now it's like really, really healed. Uh, and this earthquake isn't going to do very much. Well, I might as well focus on the guy's Pokemon, Electivire. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, if I can focus on that, that'll be good. But problem is, nothing I can really do. Um, let's teeter dance. We're going to get a little interesting here. Even though this never works, it feels. But hey, you know what? Why not? We'll just go for it. I really would like a few turns. <laughs> I have to have that light screen wear off. Uh, yep, training kiss. Of course you wouldn't be affected by confusion. Why would you do that? And Electivire won't either, you know. But I'm gonna hit myself. Uh, yep, of course. Yep, why would it even? <laughs> why did I even bother to use Teeter Dance? See, here we go again. Here we go again with my 14 in a row. Uh you know, dry spell for the opponents hitting themselves. I mean, that has literally happened, and it's just so frustrating. <laughs> I mean, it's since been broken, but like, still, I will never forget that. It's like, why do I even bother to use Teeter Dance if literally 14 times in a row, it just, oh, I don't really care, you know, what, whatever. Um, yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> And then they're probably both going to break out of confusion this turn. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It actually hit itself. What is this? This is like a whole new game. I don't know what I'm playing anymore. I thought I was playing Pokemon Moon, but maybe not. Uh, all right, let's Psychic Electivire. This will turn it into a nice, you know, two-on-one, which will be good. Yeah, that thing is really interesting, I guess. All right, man, everything gives so much experience in the post-game. That's just great that everyone's kind of getting over-leveled now. But I don't really think over-leveled is a thing in the post-game, you know? Lilligan. Okay, we're gonna just destroy this thing. Uh, Air Slash, yes. And uh, Psychic, yeah! Let's go for some Psychic. Didn't even need it. Okay, what is your final Pokemon? An Alamobola. Oh, that thing. That thing. All right, let's Revelation Dance and Psychic just for kicks. Aqua Jet. It tried, <laughs> but it failed. All right, well, there we go. Ooh, that was an interesting fight. Um, I gotta revive Comatose, don't I? Because there's still one more trainer to fight here. Well, I guess technically two. I don't think I'm going to fight against uh, Mina this episode because it's running pretty late, pretty late, but I should have enough time to fight against the person just ahead. Okay, let's use these super potions here. All right, there we go. Oh, you don't even want to fight. My Talon Flame takes great pride in its speed. Let's trade Pokemon. Let's see. I want Beware. I want Beware too. I don't want Talon Flame. Um, okay, so this is the entrance to the battle tree. That's really cool. I'll probably check out a little bit of that and maybe fight Mina on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Moon Adventure. See you next time, everyone. Aloha!